Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the end of June, so the 15th through 30th. I'm going to get a couple of these, and I don't like to use the bag, so I'm just going to let them fall out, or I'm going to pick them. So what do we have for Gemini for the last half of June? What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Oh, that's a lot. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? We're just going to take them because I feel like that's what we need to do. So, scales, keep your life in balance. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Uh, they go hand in hand now, don't they? You need to keep your life in balance, and you're probably going to need to increase your efforts to achieve your goals, right? We all know that. Gavel, involvement with the law. Yay. Involvement with the law. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. Interesting. Cat, a two-faced friend. You got somebody that is two-faced. Wonderful. Crown, honor and respect will come to you. Egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. You will be successful. Boat. Money or property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. Looks pretty darn good, huh? So money or property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Now... Here we go. That These three go together. So you need to keep your life in balance. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. And your success will be assured from your hard work. So it looks like you need to focus on your work right now to achieve your goals. You will be successful. Follow through with your plans, money, or property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. This, so something's going to be given to you. I don't know if it's an inheritance or what it is, but or a windfall or a winning. You may win something, but you are going to be rewarded for your hard work by the looks of things as well. Crown, honor and respect will come to you. That's from your hard work. That's clear. You've got a two-faced friend, which I totally believe. Um... Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. You may not see it, but you definitely do. Involvement with the law probably has to do with this two-faced friend, but I think that you're going to win. I do feel like if there's involvement with the law, you're going to win. Honor and respect will come to you. So there's something that is going to be happening this month where you're going to... you're gonna. Uh, you may end up in the hot seat, but I think that your hard work is going to... To pay off, um, you're going to be successful. Success assured with good plans and hard work. So you're going to be respected, but you got somebody here. It's interesting where I lay the cards. I never know what I'm going to do. You've got somebody here that's going to cause some problems. Okay, they're going to cause some problems. This person is probably confused because of the muddled, unclear thinking. This is a friend or a, or a family member or somebody that, somebody that um, is going to cause some trouble. They may, may, they may do something with the courts or whatever, but you're going to come out on top. So whatever they do, just let them do it. Um, now, if it doesn't have to do with court, you know, there's all different kinds of involvement with the law. So, something to do with the law. Um, honor and respect will come to you. You're going to get a payout of some sort by the looks of things from your hard work. And you may also get a gift of some sort or property. Property. You're going to win something. So, if there is a law situation and then we have win right here, you will win. So you're going to win something. I don't know what it is. So what do we have for Gemini? 
Three of Cups, so celebration. Something to celebrate. A gift. You may be receiving a gift. You're having fun, socializing. This is happiness. Getting together with friends or talking with friends or maybe even going to a reunion of some sort. Knight of Wands reversed. You are dealing, this is who you're dealing with. You may be dealing with some family members or friends and maybe this is one of your two-faced friends. Could be. Um, somebody may be hoping for a reunion. There could be some gossip even with the Three of Cups. You got to be careful when you get three women together. <laughs> you definitely do. Anyhow, Knight of Wands reversed. So this is... A show off somebody that is overly competitive has a chip on their shoulder is a troublemaker you're dealing with a troublemaker I know that you are you're dealing with a troublemaker and you're gonna need to stop them or they're gonna they're gonna do something stupid this is somebody who acts recklessly um, ten of Pentacles may have to do with uh, a family member it may have to do with the home. It may have to do with a family legacy or an inheritance or money or an establishment. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is typically about the home, the family. But this is also financial success, building up your financial success, flourishing. There could also be a passing down of money, and I think we see that here. So I don't know if you're going to be getting some money from somebody or an inheritance or something of value, a family heirloom or something like that. This could also be starting a family. Somebody could also be marrying into money or that's what happened. Now this is a celebration or a reunion. It could be, but this is not good with the Knight of Wands reversed. This is moving too fast somebody may be moving too fast maybe they want to marry for money just got to be honest with you this is somebody that is very loud boastful has a chip on their shoulder arrogant there could be some partying there could be drinking we could have somebody that even has a drinking problem here just being honest with you but this has to do with permanence it has to do with money and stability but this is uh you could be dealing with an individual who doesn't want responsibility, really. They aren't. They don't really want responsibility. I don't know what, how this resonates with you, but they could just be after money. This is something to do with money, okay? Financial stability here, which is interesting. Ace of Wands. Ten of Wands reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. King of Swords reversed. I just want to get some of these cards and see what we got here. Nine of Wands. So, what do we got here? We started out with the Three of Cups. That that is socializing, having fun, talking. You know, you know what I just want that just popped into my mind. Just as, I don't even know where it came from, and I don't even know if these cards resonate. Was conspiracy? There's a conspiracy here, so that's what just popped into my head. Uh, we could have some people that get together; they're all drinking, and they they conspire to do something. We could be dealing with a very malicious. This is the Queen of Wands in reverse, very forceful individual. Could be another woman. Okay, this is a woman. It is a woman. They're gossiping. They're talking. They're planning something. They're very arrogant. There's something going on here. But this Queen of Wands in reverse could be, an, it could be one person. This is somebody that is very forceful, very unhealthy, uh, revengeful, manipulative, a liar, nasty, jealous. This is a malicious gossip. Somebody's talking about you behind your back. It is one of this, this person right here. I don't think it's a friend, okay? It's not a friend. This person is very fake. They may present themselves to be your friend, but they are deaf. They may they probably present themselves to be everybody's friend. So this is somebody that um, you are probably going to need to protect yourself from. Um, now this is letting go. 
the Ten of Wands reversed. Now this is dropping weight, dropping a burden, dropping baggage, letting it go, making a conscious change. The Ace of Wands is a new exciting opportunity. There could be a reunion that is coming up and I'm just, I know I'm going all over the place, but there's different, a bunch of different messages just in these cards. Okay, so there's a bunch of different messages just in these cards. So take what resonates and leave the rest. There is a new exciting opportunity that is coming in. There could be a reunion with somebody. But you also, on the other hand, have a two-faced friend that is conspiracy, is conspiring against you. Just keep that in mind. I feel like you have an individual that has been wounded. Um, they are angry. They're angry with the world. Uh, and I think that they are... Um, they are very troubled, and I think that they may do something stupid, okay? They may do something stupid, you know, that, um, hurts them even more, put it that way. I feel like it's going to hurt them even more. Um, I think that you need to be on guard for this individual. I think that you need to, you definitely need to be, expect some trouble, from this person that is two-faced you definitely have it's a woman this is a woman it could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius it, could, it feels like it's a fire sign this person may try to cause some trouble for you um this person is naive definitely naive very controlling very manipulative um but this is uh it has to do with a family member, I believe, or a family situation, or money. Could even have to do with a job. Um, this person is going to run into some sort of trouble on their own. I feel like uh, this is I don't care. The King of Swords in reverse is a person that doesn't care, very cold, hard. We have a hard, cold individual here uh, that may be just focusing on oh, the devil reverse, stability, materialistic situation. This is materialism. The Ten of Coins is materialism. It is. This is materialism as well. And this is making a conscious change to let something go. A burden. This is this could be a disaster because the devil reverses an extreme. This is suffering, it's weakness. This is breaking free. Something is getting worse. We have an individual with the King of Swords reverse and the devil reverse that is in a deep, deep, dark place. Very, very, very unhealthy. So we have an unhealthy individual here that is in a deep dark place. Get ready for something to collapse or to drop. The Ten of pen, the ten of uh, Wands and Reversed. This is freedom and this is freedom. Freeing yourself from something that you have... Somebody is being freed from an unhealthy situation, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is freedom. These are both cards of freedom. A bully. Somebody that is very mean and cold and uncaring. This is breaking free. Ten of Wands reversed, Devil reversed from somebody that is abusive. This is somebody that is abusive at, at, the, at home or at work or something like that. This is freedom from an abusive situation. Put it that way. And now we only got nine pentacles showing. which is, So this is like going your own way. Nine of pentacles. So that's, that's like independence. This is this has something to do with an inheritance for some of you as well. Some of you may be getting an inheritance um, or money from a family member, you know, handed down some sort of money. You may receive news of that. There is some sort of bond that is being broken for sure. Somebody's been holding on. They can't hold on anymore. They're breaking free from an abusive situation, going their own way. The storm is over. It's been very stormy. It could happen. This could be a sudden departure. Okay, so this could be this this could be suddenly being let go or suddenly letting go. It could be a family member. I'm not sure what it is, but if it's not or it could be you. There could be a reunion or coming up or a party. You could be going to a gathering in the near future for whatever this is. 
uh, Ace of Wands. This is a new exciting opportunity. Could be even a new sexual partner. This is uh, this is a new uh, endeavor, a new vision, a new ambition, a new drive, a new path, a new adventure. Somebody is going to be going down a new path. But we have this individual that is very malicious and. Uh, you need to expect some trouble from this person. This person talks very gossipy. Um, there's going to be a change. Wheel of Fortune. We have a cycle that is ending. The wheel is spinning. This is a positive change. Good luck. Destiny. Karma. This person may be receiving some sort of karma. This is a ch destined change. This is a cycle coming to an end for this individual. This is an individual. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is somebody that is very forceful, very manipulative. This is a liar. This liar is about to experience a completion. This is an ending of a cycle. It's a karmic cycle. Very arrogant. We have a very, this is both arrogant. So we have a very arrogant individual that is about to experience a change. Oh, four of swords. Now this is, this is a, I don't know if this is a death or what it is. It's definitely an illness passing out. Somebody could be passing out. I was clarifying this queen of Queen of uh, Wands in reversed. So somebody could pass out. They are very ill or, you know, I don't know what it is. It could be an overdose. Um, Ace of, or Knight of Cups. Now, this is looking for love. This is very emotional time. Extremely intense, emotional. I don't know what is going on, but I feel like there's, we could have, this is the, this is a completion. This is the death of a situation. It is. It is. It's the end of a situation. Somebody may be going to rehab or something else. This is the end of a cycle with this person. I don't know what is going on, but I think there could be a sudden departure here. Um, and you're going to be receiving some sort of gift. Now, this, this Knight of Cups is means it's a very sensitive time. It's, it's a very... Um, you may need to have some sort of compassion. It may be intense. Okay. Now this is a emotional support. Uh, receiving an offer. You're going to be receiving something from somebody. This is feeling weak. A cycle is ending and feeling feeling weak or... Uh, I don't know. This doesn't look good. I mean, typically the Four of Swords is, is very exhausted, very exhausted. Um, health issues. Somebody has some health issues. I think it's this Queen of Wands, though. I don't think it's you. I think it's this. I do because I was clarifying her. And this is, you know, that's the Ace of Cups. This is going to be very emotional. This is an outpouring of emotion, a flood of emotion. So I don't know if it's tears or what, but I just got to look closer at this card. I don't know. I don't know what is happening, but this person, I'm not sure if it has to do with, I mean, I, I hate to say this, but I don't know if it has to do with suicide. Somebody, I, I don't know what it is or illness, or overdose, or something like that. Uh, I think that you need to be aware. I think that you need to be there where somebody's life is about to change. This is a cycle that is ending. Um, I don't know. I don't know where that came from. I feel like uh, there is a new opportunity here, and I'm not trying to scare anybody. If, it, if, it, if, if it's not suicide, this could be rehab. This is somebody that is ill. This is somebody that is ill, okay? And it could be mentally ill that needs help. That definitely needs help. Anyway, and this could be help arriving. This is this is a counselor or a lover or somebody that is very gentle and compassionate coming in with some sort of support. 
Okay, it is. It is. So, you know, there could be somebody arriving that is helping somebody to live again. You know, helping somebody to get help. Um, this is somebody that is emotionally supportive. This is a new exciting opportunity for love, for romance. I know I'm changing it, but somebody is going to be getting, um, you know, some sort of emotional support from from uh, somebody, okay? Or an offer of love. This person is looking for romance. They're looking for a relationship. Um there is also freedom, freedom from an unhealthy situation here with the devil reversed and the ten of wands reversed. This is balance is waiting. Somebody, somebody is heading into a more balanced situation that is not toxic. Okay, somebody was in a toxic situation, an unhealthy, very unhealthy situation with an individual that was very forceful. Okay, this person was a liar. This person... Um, is about to experience a massive change, a mass massive completion in their life. Um, there's some sort of abuse here. Neglect. Very much egotistical. Somebody's, you know, was trying to prove... They were trying to prove something, but now they can't. Now they're falling down. Now they there's nothing left to prove. There could be a change in your home, okay? With this this ten of pentacles, okay. There could be a change on the home front. Somebody is leaving or somebody is entering. You know, there's a change. If you are a business owner, your your income is going to get better. You know, your revenue is going to get better. Somebody that has been hindering your growth, I feel like this person is going to be leaving the scene. That's what I see. I feel like you are going to be uh, going out with somebody, okay? Going going out maybe for drinks or going out to dinner with somebody. Somebody new. I think it's a new. Somebody new. I know this reading is all over the place. It really is. And I feel like, and it's very, I feel like it's a, it's the end of the month is going to be very, uh, things are going to change. Okay. Some, there's something is going to change drastically. I think that you need to be on guard. I think that you need to be on the lookout. Okay. Expect some trouble. I think that you should be expecting some trouble. Okay. I feel like you haven't, you've been dealing with an individual that, um, is very unhealthy and I, I think that they're about to experience a completion in their life and it affects you in some way. You know what I'm saying? You're also going to be, uh, uh, we could have a relationship that is stepping it up to the next level with that Knight of Cups. This is saying just go for it. The Ace of uh, Wands, that's, a, that's like a new partner or something growing, a relationship that is growing. This is relationship growth. Could have something to do with children. There could be a reunion with your children. Maybe this person has been a hindrance. I feel as though the end of this month, you are going to be receiving emotional support and respect. I do, because here we have the respect. You're going to be receiving emotional support and respect. You're also going to be broken free from somebody that 
did you wrong. I feel like this person did you wrong. I feel like this bird, this person is about to experience a, it's like, you know, a cat has nine lives. It's like they've used up all their nine lives. I'm sorry to say that. There's going to be a change on the home front for some of you. There's going to be an increase in money as well. And that's what I got. Good luck. 